Commodore logo. If you're over the age of 40, chances are good you've seen this logo before. In the 1980s, the Commodore logo became ubiquitous, revealing itself on the packaging of tens of millions of computer products, in print advertisements, on football jerseys, on race cars, and in television advertisements. Amiga from Commodore, the computer for the creative mind. Commodore logo represented a company named Commodore International who stormed into the public eye with the release of their Commodore 64 computer in 1982. But Commodore and its logo had been around for many years before the world took notice. Commodore was founded in 1958 as Commodore Portable Typewriter Company Limited. It was a Canadian company at that time, and at the time of its founding, Commodore's logo was much more subdued. It was simply the word Commodore as seen here on this early typewriter. In September 1959, 11 months after the company was founded, Commodore updated their logo. It was still just the word Commodore, but it was a more stylish cursive design. This logo was formally registered as a United States trademark in 1964, and it was in use from 1959 through 1965. In 1962, during the reign of this second logo, Commodore Portable Typewriter Company simultaneously became a publicly traded company and changed their name to Commodore Business Machines Canada Limited. The year was 1965 when this, the most well-known of Commodore's logos, was created. According to Leonard Trammell, his father Jack Trammell, who was the original founder of Commodore, told him that this logo is representative of the letters C, B, M from Commodore Business Machines. The C is obvious. The shape to the right of the C is a subtle nod to the word Commodore being a naval rank. It's modeled after the International Maritime Signal Flag for the letter B. The M is the same B rotated 90 degrees. This famous Commodore logo was designed by Chris Yaneff Limited, a Toronto-based design firm that had been founded by Chris Yaneff in 1956. Chris was born in Toronto in 1928 and began his career as the art director of Financial Post from 1949 through 1956, after which he founded his own firm. His firm created several famous corporate logos over the years, and he's also known for doing the package design for Windsor Salt, a Canadian staple. This was Commodore's logo for the remainder of the company's life. Commodore filed for voluntary liquidation on April 29, 1994, and Chris Yaneff passed away on April 30, 2004, 10 years and one day after Commodore's demise.